welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the sfml dodger series and in this video we are going to try to implement uh, uh, the enemy collisions detection so currently in the previous video we had got uh, this basically working but uh, in this video we are going to try to in get our enemy de uh, collision detection working and in the video after that we will make the actual uh, some of the th things that our enemy have got for example uh, the way that enemies are spawned is not very satisfactory right now we'll try to fix that in the next video but in this video we are going to try to do collision detection with the enemies now collision detection is actually really simple when we are moving each enemy so we are going just going to make it uh, enemy functionality and instead of enemy movement because we are going to be doing all functionality here so enemy functionality and what we are going to do here is that we are going to check if enemy and uh, since this is a rectangle shape we have got a easy function called enemy dot intersect actually it is enemy dot get global bounds so just say get uh, and then say global bounds and we are going to call this function which will give us a type something of type rectangle which we can use uh, to get the intersect function and we can use to that to get uh, to find out whether it matches with another rectangle and what you can do with this uh, in here the other rectangle is obviously player d and player is a rectangle shape not a rectangle so you need to go ahead and say get global bounds and just do that and that is going to basically work so if that is the case then what we can do is we can for example uh, we can see out uh, say uh, see out uh, std colon colon see out actually std colon colon uh, see out and we can say uh, something like uh, hi uh, because yeah uh, and then I'm going to put a new line after that now uh, obviously we need to kind of go ahead and uh, include io stream here uh, up here make sure that you have got that now let's start uh, our program and what you should see is that uh, now when we intersect with the you know, when the enemy collides with the player we should get a hello printed on this uh, uh, thing that we have got so let's see if I go take my player here and I go ahead and do this you can see it says hi and uh, you can see it kind of slowed down when we uh, it was uh, printing and uh, the reason for that we'll understand soon but for now just don't worry about it too much uh, and uh, we'll fix all of this uh, later uh, and uh, this slow motion thing is not really good so we'll fix that but uh, the idea is that it is printing high when we are intersecting now when it intersects what we want to do is we essentially want to end the game so what we can do is we can go ahead and say something like uh, window.close so we haven't got a game over screen right now so let's just close the window as soon as it intersects because our player will be uh, you know our player it will be over for hit so let's try that out now okay uh, and you can see it's like that and as soon as I uh, I dodge one of them and then it comes and I kind of hit one of them and uh, the game ends now that is pretty awesome we have got our enemy uh, getting the c correct intersecting and then trying to get the player as well and then it is closing the game when that happens now obviously uh, there is another problem that I uh, said that our enemies are currently not being so awesome because uh, they are kind of uh, you know they are appearing here uh, all together so we want a uh, better way to handle that and I will actually think about doing it in the next video but let's do it right now because why not so we have got this X here as 800 for our screen and we are basically getting a distance of between this uh, 0 and uh, uh, basically 10 and 730 we are getting a distance between that and uh, what we want to do is we don't want to do it that way but instead we want to get a distance that is uh, so let's go ahead and get this so uh, this is like 800 so uh, this is 800 so 800 and we've got four enemies 800 divided by 4 is 200 and when we go ahead and say 200 I'm going to subtract 60 from this which means 140 and then we're gonna subtract further 10 so that our enemy stays within the limits So let's do that we are gonna add 10 to it to make it that uh, it does not like uh, go like right together with the wall so but we are also going to add another value to it which will be uh, I multiplied by uh, some value like uh, 200 uh, let's do that so what this will essentially do is it will make it like divide the screen into four portions and each enemy will have its own portion in which it will be randomized which means no enemy will be getting like uh, on top of the other ones so you can see that all of the enemies now come perfectly and uh, we have got a pretty much awesome system going even though it is working a bit weird uh, some of the enemies are going all the way there which should not really be happening and some enemies are too close to okay that that uh, was a bit uh, of a problem 
so let's see uh, actually let me first go ahead and do this here like that all right and uh, because i want to make sure that nothing wrong happens so we've got so when we do this for example uh, on the first run we will get uh, let's say uh, a value of uh, 20 let's say so um, uh, le let's say let it get, let's get a value of 50 so we add that 10 to it it will make 60 now let's say that we get 60 for each of the values so for the first one uh, we will have uh, 0 uh, which means we will just have 60 and in the next one we'll get 200 plus which means we'll get 260 and uh, in the other one in the one after that we should get 460 and in the one after that we should get 660 but uh, uh, yeah that is basically what should happen now the reason it did not work on the second try is because uh, this line is not in being implemented lower uh, here as well where we are kind of redoing it so we need to obviously paste this line here as well now if I start the game now what you should see is that we have got a practically uh, okay what happened now uh, all right that is a bit weird okay so <laughs> that was a bit of a problem because we are doing auto and here and we don't have the uh, i available to us which is a bit bad so let's just create an integer called i in this loop that is by default zero and it will increase each time when this loop runs which will kind of be really simple so let's do that so uh, that now should work so let's start and uh, see if that goes uh, that well and let's see and you should see that uh, all of our enemies are now not intersecting to get okay again come on uh, that who didn't uh, I didn't expect that to happen so why did that happen uh, even though we have got a uh, better system here for the Y uh, so let's uh, for the X here now we've got the same system here but it seems like it's not working for some reason uh, even though it should be so let's try again uh, and see what happens so why is it going this way so you can see that enemy is almost like all the way till the end and now these are all together when it runs again which means that uh, what is happening essentially is that our i is remaining zero it seems that it's not actually increasing the reason is obviously that we are uh, defining the i inside of here but we need to kind of do it outside so that uh, the i does not change each time we run and this will make sure that everything works perfectly and all of our enemies will be now separate and no one will kind of go uh, intersect with the other and you can see that's pretty awesome and we have got a really really nice uh, gameplay kind of going now there are two things that we will like to add in this and I uh, will do that in the future videos one is that when the enemies like uh, fall they should uh, have a velocity towards the left or right and not just fall straight and uh, the other thing that we need to add is make our program frame rate independent which we will discuss in future videos of course and the third thing that I want to do is obviously add uh, a desk screen and then a audio system as well so that is what we'll be doing in the future video so stay tuned for that i will see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye